Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're making an influencer post that you can put on your Instagram and start running traffic to immediately and that will actually convert. So let's hop in. All right, so I'm gonna go over two different methods of doing it because uh, you know there's a bunch of different ways obviously that you can make an ad, but these are two different ways that I use and I use them for different types of influencers and I'll go over that all here in just a bit. But um, you know, obviously the first thing that you're gonna need before you do an influencer post is you're gonna need a product. So um, I know that this one sells very well. Um, it's a custom name necklace, especially now with Christmas and uh, you know Black Friday and all that stuff, it's selling pretty hot. So as you can see, like 6,000 orders, we're gonna click on it. And uh, what a lot of people do that I notice is that they just use like the straight up uh, you know, white background here. And uh, I don't know, that's, to me, it just looks cheap. It looks like a stock photo and it doesn't really work. You never really see it get good conversions on Instagram. So instead what I do is, I'll, I'll show you two different methods, but, but one method is what I do is I, uh, I go down and click on the feedback and these are like all the reviews and uh, I'll click with pictures. So it's gonna bring up a bunch of reviews with uh, you know, photos of people um, that have you know, written reviews. And what we're looking for is somebody who's actually wearing the, uh, the thing. So like for example, this one, Jacqueline, she's wearing the necklace, you know, it's a, a decent quality photo. We might be able to find better if we look for more, but you know, just for example sake, what we'll do is we'll just save this. Uh, we'll save it as necklace. Uh, Save to the download, I'm gonna replace it. And cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is hop over to canva.com. Now I use Photoshop for the most part, but I realize that a lot of people don't have Photoshop. So um, yeah, we're gonna use Canva. Basically, you just need to, uh, to make an account. You can do that with either your email or Facebook and it'll bring you to this page. So we're gonna do it for social media and it'll make you like a perfect box, as you can see, one by one box here. And uh, let's just start up. So we're gonna upload an image and go to uh, the downloads here. And let's see where it was, necklace. Open that up and we will drag it in. And yeah, this photo isn't like the best quality, so we're probably definitely gonna wanna find a better quality one. Um, which you can definitely find in the reviews. You just have to look a little bit. So, um, but for right now, for example purposes, this will this will do fine, and uh, you know we'll be able to use it. So I'm I'm just resizing it right now to make sure it fits, and uh, say cancel. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to come up with some text. Now let's find a decent font that, that looks kind of cool. Maybe like this one. So the first thing, uh, you know, just depending on your offer, if you're doing like a 50% off, if you're doing, you know, free plus shipping, if you're doing, uh, you know, some sort of buy one, get one free, the text is actually going to vary. Um, but let's just assume you're doing like a free plus shipping offer, which I definitely would not do for this, considering that it's like, how much is this? It's uh you know, nine bucks to, to buy it. So I, I definitely wouldn't do free plus shipping on this, but let's just assume that you are and, and we'll, uh, we'll do it that way. So say 100% free and underneath in the subtitle will say uh, today only, okay? And usually what I like to do is, is make some colors that stand out. So like today only, we'll make it white, 100% free. We can mess around with some different stuff. Um, let's see, usually, uh, green doesn't really work. What about like a red? Red might work. And then I just like to resize it so it's you know a decent size. Put it up in a corner or something. And and yeah. And obviously again we, we're gonna have to switch out this photo because it's just not not great. But you can find those in the reviews. You can find some much better photos. Um, but yeah. So. This is the basic concept. You're just gonna do that, something like that. Um, if you want, you can add more info. Ideally, you don't wanna have a whole lot of text um, if, if you can avoid it. But the, the main point I'm trying to get across in this one is that you wanna have somebody actually wearing the product if it's like some sort of jewelry or, or uh, you know clothing or watch or something like that. You don't, don't want just a stock photo. Now, the second way that I use, and this is for um, products that are more geared towards a, a certain niche, um, especially, it especially works well with animals or even um, like trend products is, is this. So I know that uh, another product that sells pretty well is uh, these paw print necklaces. 
I don't know why necklaces sell really well on AliExpress. Um, but if you go to the orders, as you can see, like 2,400 orders, we'll go here. And instead of using this photo, what we're actually gonna do is, is again, go down to the reviews. So we'll go to the feedback uh, with pictures. And let's see, what I wanna do with this is I wanna have two photos and I'm gonna assume that I'm, I'm working with a dog niche, right? So uh, people that are interested in dogs will also be interested in this paw print. Next